All right, so I am off to pick up Todd for our latest adventure. We are going to the Susan Creek Trail, which you may have seen me do before in the past. It's been a while since I've been there in the summer. So I'm excited. We're gonna go. We're gonna pick up some fast food along the way. And we're gonna hike out as far as we can reasonably get tonight because it's pushing five o'clock right now. Because I worked a full shift today and got off at 3.30. So, yeah, we're gonna hike out as far as we can on the trail. We're gonna stay the night, then tomorrow, we're going to hike the rest of the trail, see the waterfalls, all that good stuff. And then the following day, Friday, we will head back home in the morning. So I'll talk to you later. All right, Todd's been picked up. We're going camping. We grabbed some food. I ate mine, he's still eating his, but yeah, whatever. Cheeseburger. And we're off. We're going Susan Trail, like I said. Susan Trail. Yep. And, uh, see how much time we have when we get there. Should be probably a 45 minute drive from here. Three, four day wagon trail trip. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I already have dysentery. I don't think this is going to go well. No, good thing we don't have to ford any rivers. Mm, not tonight. No. I mean, river rivers. Oh. Not, okay. not just, you know walking some streams okay all right well you know hope we won't die see you there First bag of dog poop. Geocache. What up, Geocache? And our first water stop. Didn't bother bringing any with me because it's everywhere on this trail. I'm just gonna fill up my filter bag and let that be it until the next stop. Catadyne B free filter. Top top, ready to go. Kind of dark. It's uh, it's then you get the idea. Found ourselves a camp with uh, Hi. some benches, which is nice. It's a bonus. And uh, I'm gonna hang my hammock from this tree to this tree, and Todd's gonna sleep over here. And our path to water is over there that leads to a lower campsite. 
down there where there's good water access and there's nobody staying down there. And nobody but us is stupid enough to come this late. So, enjoy while I set up my hammock. As you can pretty plainly see, it's getting dark. And it's also starting to sprinkle. When I was in the park the other day, I collected some cotton from cottonwood trees and some birch bark, obviously from birch trees. Okay, that's going. Let's move the camera back. Back, back, back. Safe zone. Now I know why you bring so much gas in the woods. I decided to make a little tea for the maiden voyage for my new pot. Top of the morning to you. Slept in longer than we intended to. It's 8 o'clock. I hear Todd's alarm going off over there that he had set for 7. Which can only mean one thing. He's dead. It's alright, it was bound to happen. So, we're gonna leave all our stuff here at this camp and do some hiking today, and then we can just take off from here tomorrow morning. Ugh. Right now, it's time to get up, have some coffee, have some breakfast. It's chilly out here, so, try to stay warm in the process. Alright, as you can probably tell, it's pouring down rain. This is one of the main reasons why I decided to get this water resistant phone. At any rate, I'm gonna grab some water and do my dishes. Oh, which means grabbing my pot scrubber that I forgot. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't film making coffee and breakfast this morning just because. I really wanted to get a move on it because it's kind of miserable out. No biggie. No diggity, no doubt, baby. All right. Off to the water trail. And to think, I almost didn't even bring my rain gear. It's like, nah. Most we're going to get is a little... Drizzle. What was I wrong? The best thing about titanium is it heats up fast. The worst thing about titanium is it heats up fast. See, that's a lie. The best thing about titanium is that it's really light. Uh. 
Okay. Gooseberry with no berries. Wood sorrel, red huckleberry with no berries, blackberry slash marionberry with no berries. <sighs> Oregon grape with no berries. Salal with no berries. Seasons are a little different here. It takes a lot longer to get warm. It's all right. Let's see what's going on in here. Good morning. I am again uh, coffee, and I've been talking to Nick, but he can't hear me because uh, he, I was off pooping or something. Um, something. Something. Ooh. It's coming along. It's slow road to China. Hey, will you bring me straight? Yeah, just a minute. Found my oatmeal from this morning. Hey! <laughs> Other people using the trail as always. Even in the middle of the week. But there is Susan Falls. And you can feel the entire ground vibrating with the force of the water. Susan Falls. It's got significantly less water in it than either of the times that we were here before. I guess you can jump off the rocks. We got visitors. We got visitors. The chocolate lab. So friendly. I got dog hair all over my hands. Hey! <gasps> oh my goodness! Yes! <laughs> uh, I probably have slobber in my beard. Do I? enough now to know how to stay dry when this crap happens. It took longer than it probably should have to learn, but I learned. So I got some good rain gear now. And uh, this down jacket that I'm wearing has the DWR coating. It's durable water repellent, but it doesn't work that well. You can see it starts to wet through. 
the beads at first, but it doesn't take much to push the water through. But it's all right, it doesn't get that wet. And uh, I hang it on my hammock ridge line to dry out. It does a pretty good job. But anyway, we're, uh, we're a ways past Susan Falls now on the trail. Uh, it's going so much faster than it did last time we were here because we're more seasoned at this and in better shape. More used to being on our feet. And we're just cruising it. I mean, it only took us 45 minutes to get to Horseshoe Falls where we stayed last time we were here. And man, did that seem like a hike back then. Yeah, it really did. It really did. It was horrible. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. So now it's been a breeze. We're feeling great. I'm feeling great. Yeah. I don't know about you. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I love those bird songs. So here we are. This is the Wildcat Trail that just branches off of the Susan Trail. See, Trail King, Trail Xing. So here's where it goes across. Not very well. This is the crossing right here. You know, maybe if it were over 50 degrees out, I'd think about doing it, but. Yeah, I mean, it's early enough <laughs> in the day it gets tough to, to dry, but like, it's like. I was hoping there'd be a log bridge or something here, but there's not. So, Lower Wildcat and Wildcat Falls are going to have to wait for another day, I guess. I don't have a change of socks with me. I've got them back at camp. I do. Because I'm special. I just want them getting wet and humidity. It's going to keep them dry. Yeah. And close to my heart. My other socks are in my hammock. He says that to all the ladies. Yeah. So, all right. I guess we'll head back up to the Susan Trail and keep going. Maybe we can hit uh, middle and upper Susan Falls. Maybe we'll have time for that. What? Let's make a beeline. Um, uh, an I line is a little more direct. J line. With a B line, you're just circling a couple of times.
balls. Pretty cool. Some squirrel left a pair of mittens laying on this rock. It's a big old ridiculous hemlock. Just like, what? Just fire? Ain't no thing. I'm all right. Hemlocks are very fire resistant trees. This is a testament to that. So when's the last time there was a forest fire here? Yeah, over a hundred years. I don't know. It's a big tree. Middle Susan Falls. And we just have to find the upper. And it's raining again. Nonsense I have to go through to get here. Well, here's the top of Middle Falls. There's that log we were on. Gotta keep heading up the trail though. Todd wants to judge how far down this is. Ready? Huh. You get it? 
Yeah, it was about three seconds. Which is like what? 60, 70 feet, something like that? I don't know. I, don't know. I scared him. Like, oh, no, run away! <laughs> We found ripe blueberries. Yeah, look. There's more of them too. Awesome. Let's put some blueberries in them, you know? And then take pictures oh. for juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. Amanita Africa, I believe. Unless it's Pantherina. And then um, Yukon Gold Potato, or maybe a younger specimen. I've still got coals in the bottom of mine if you want to switch over real fast. And put stuff in there. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you're all right. Looking pretty good. We'll go into focus. <laughs> Needs to cool and thicken a little bit, but I'd say it's about done. Mm. Should be good. I used powdered milk this time. So yeah, that's a little bit of our garbage in there. Big deal, wanna fight about it? Reduce, reuse, recycle, right? All right. So, got some fat wood. now. About time to go to bed. Well, top of the morning to you folks. It's Friday, our departure day. And I'm getting breakfast started. 
There's just going to be some coffee and oatmeal. And we're going to get moving and... I promised I would be home early in the afternoon. Got some obligations. It's about an hour drive out of here and about a 45 minute hike. And it's almost 7.30. We will be all right. Mmm. Yeah, there. That's a pretty ball. Look at that ass crack. A little something for the ladies. Like all outdoor channels, I have lots and lots and lots of female followers. Popular genre amongst the ladies, you know. Usually in the neighborhood of 3%. Several on Instagram, but I don't know if they'll actually watch any of my videos. Well, so far this little pot kind of kicks ass. Looks like I overheated it a little bit right there. Kind of purple. Alright, there we go. That's everything clean and ready to go back to camp. Alright. About time to pack up and get out of here now. Except, uh... I think we're both going to have to go for the morning constitutional before we leave. <sighs> it's interesting finding a place to do that here. Because, hey, there goes a hiker right now. Hi, dog. <laughs> yeah, we'll find a spot. Okay. There's everything cleaned up. Including... The mess that was right here, where I accidentally left a uh, wrapper from a trail bar in a pocket and a mouse found it. Uh, and decided to pull it out through the back side, so I had it in this little pocket. They don't understand how pockets work. Which... Osprey's got a good warranty, so if it ever becomes an issue, I can warranty that out, but I don't know. Yeah, it's you know fine. About so, I got my water and my sit pad to pick up, and uh, that's it. Other than that, all we're leaving is the firewood that we didn't use for the next guy. Or maybe the people that are camped somewhere up there, maybe they'll want it. Can't see him right now. It's all right. And uh, maybe we'll try to catch a glimpse of Horseshoe Falls on the way out. But oh, we'll those people are camped at the only viewpoint, so I don't know how it's going to go. Unless you want to go down there. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? There she is. We made it safe and sound. Whew. All right. Till next time, guys. See ya.